Hello everyone. Uh, our topic for today is uh, three-phase half-wave controlled rectifier. Uh, last time we uh, we took single-phase half-wave rectifier and also single-phase full-wave rectifier. And in the uncontrolled, we already took this topic, which is three-phase half-wave uncontrolled rectifier, and we use power diodes. Now, we are not using power diodes, but we are using thyristors, SCR, silicon control rectifier. So it will be anode, cathode, and we will have gate. And this gate will be controlled by the alpha. When we give a signal by the alpha, by the firing angle, it will start uh, working. Um, you can follow me in your uh, notes. Okay, this is the note we will be using. Uh, by the way, this topic is not in our textbook, but you can follow me in our uh, in your notes. The page fifty-six, this one right here, and also on page uh, fifty-seven, and uh, also in page uh, fifty-eight. You can follow, follow those pages. So you can have your notes with you and you can take notes and uh, let's see right here this says um, you know the three phase half wave and the, the phase shift between each phase is 120 degrees if this is a b and c it will be 120 degrees phase shift between each phase so let's look at that so we have we have three phase right here and we know from previous that uh, like this this is my output for the V out. This is V out right here. Okay, V out DC. And this is the output when alpha is zero. We know that alpha is zero for the three phases right here. So this is alpha equals to zero. Yes, the numbers right here are thirty. 60, 90, 120, and so on. But we look at the first full pulse, which is this. This one right here starts right here at 30, means this alpha is zero for this pulse. So we start looking at the first full pulse, and we say that this alpha is zero. So this alpha here equals to zero. And this is beta right here, which is beta 1 equals 150. This is alpha 1. And this beta 1 is also alpha 2 for the next pulse. And this one here is beta 2. So this is beta 2 equals 270. And this one right here also, it's alpha. Three, which is two seven zero. Where is beta three? This is beta three right here. Beta three equals to thirty. Okay, sorry, equals to zero right here. Sorry, we said this is one fifty. It's not one fifty, actually, because it should be one twenty right here. Subtract thirty from it. And this is yeah. You need to subtract. Same thing right here should be 250 right here and this is 250 because there will be a shift as we said this alpha right here is zero so when alpha is zero this point is very important guys if you understand this point everything will be okay with you okay because the previous i mean the scale that we have right here we have 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. That's when we have a single phase, um, uncontrolled, controlled, half wave, full wave for the single phase, still the same. We still write the same angles right there, but we look at the full pulse for the output. And this is the full pulse, the first full pulse, and it starts from this number is 30, but actually alpha is zero right here. Alpha is zero. We did not fire any alpha. This is out 
our output with no firing alpha, with alpha equals to zero. If we fire then, the output, the V out will be different than this. So our output right here is this. Okay, this is our output. Same as the output that we have in uncontrolled. Same as the V out DC in uncontrolled, since alpha is zero. Okay, and the current I out will be the same like this. So this one here is I out DC. Okay, let's draw this also, guys, just for you, just to refresh. Uh, this is uh, A and B, we will start from 1 to 1 right here, the old scale. So 1. One, two, three, this is my P here. And then one, two, three, this is my zero. And then one, two, three, this is my V, but we are interested only in two, three, sixty, so we don't need this. Then we go back, one, two, three, this is my P here. Then one, two, three, this is my zero, but we are interested only from zero into 360. That's the window that we are looking for. Let's look at the third phase, which is starts from, we start drawing from one, from 230 to 40. So one, two, three, this is my P. And then one, two, three, this is my zero, but I am interested only <coughs> into 360. Then we'll go back. One, two, three, this is my P here. One, two, three, this is my Zero. One, two, three, this is my P here. But I am not interested in uh, this. I am interested only from zero to 360. Okay, this is the same drawing, but now our alpha is 15. So we will shift from zero, 15 degrees. So this is zero right here. Again, this is zero. Alpha equals to zero. So we will shift 15 degrees. We know now this is 30 and this is 15. Here, this is alpha equals 15, 15 degrees. So you go, when you draw the output, you go, you draw you, the line until you touch the, your angle, and then you go up, you go up. Then you draw your line, you follow the output, then you go. This one was our old alpha, but now it will be shifted by 15 degrees, so this is the new one. So you go till you touch this and you go up, okay? So this is our old one, but the new one is here, shifted 15 degrees, so we'll go till we touch it, and okay. The current still continuous in this case, same. The current will be continuous like this, but it will be down. So the current will be continuous like this. Okay. That's our output I out to DC. Okay. Let's look at this one right here. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay, this is the V out. This is the V out DC right here. And now the angle is 30 degrees. So 30 degrees will be shifted from the zero. So this is the zero again here. This is my zero alpha, or alpha equals to zero degrees. And when we shift 30 degrees, it will be in our 60 scale. So it will be right here, alpha equals 30. So now how to how to draw the V out? We follow the output line, the face, the face, we follow the face till we touch the angle and then we go up. Then we follow the next face. This one is our original alpha, but now it's shifted by 30 degrees, so it's right here. So we reach this, we stop, we go up, and then we follow the third phase. And that's, this is our output, okay? 
So now this is when alpha is 30, the current still will go like this. It will almost touch the zero and then it will be like this. And then it will touch the zero and this is my output DC. So also here I out DC. Let's look at 60 here, okay? Because we will compare this to that. I mean, we will compare the 30 here to the 30 right here, compare, and we will compare the 60 with the 60, okay? We will compare. Okay, compare. Let's see here. Now, this one here, alpha 60. Okay, I'm gonna use the green. So alpha is zero equals here. And 60, this is 30, this is 60. So here it will be 60 in the place of 90 degrees in the old scale that we used to use. So we're gonna follow the phase. Are we going to the negative? No, because the load is resistive load. For resistive load only, so we will have no ripple. Again, no ripple because we are we are we are only using this load right here. Now here we are using this load right here, and this load right here, this load right here is being used right here. Okay, so we will have no ripple. So this is my alpha that I'm looking for, which is alpha equals to 60. So there will be a gap, guys. This is a gap, zero. I will reach here, then I will, it will stay zero. Till alpha 60, then it will start again. Then it will be zero, then it will start and again. Here, zero, then it will start and so on. Okay? In this case, what do you guys think about the current? Is it continuous or discontinuous? Because we have a gap, it will be discontinuous. So it will go like this, zero, it will be like this, zero, it will be like this, zero, it will be like this. This is my current here now. So this is I out DC. So the current will be discontinuous, right? This is when my load is resistive load only. Okay. Now let's see when we have an inductive load, which is this inductive load. Let's see what will happen. Okay, alpha. This is my V out. And alpha, we're gonna use 30, same as this alpha right here. And we will see. What do you guys think what will happen? Touch here, nothing. Do we have a, do we have a, do we have a time to go to the negative? We don't have no time. So it will be the same as this. This one, it will not be the same. Let's see. This one here, alpha is 30. So we know that this is zero here. Alpha equals to zero. And when we shift, 30 degrees, so it will be in the scale of 60. So this is alpha equals 30. So we're gonna follow the phase till we touch the angle and then we'll go up. And then we're gonna follow the phase till it touches then it will, we will go up. And same thing here. Okay. Same as this. Okay. Current also will be same as this, sorry. And current will be the same. Okay. So current, go here, current, go here, current, go here, current, go here. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what we have. When alpha is 60 in, um, when, with the inductive load, when alpha is 60, let's see here. So this is alpha equals to zero degrees, and it will be shifted 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So let's try again. 
So here we guys see here. So we're gonna follow up to this point. Should we continue? Yes, because we have inducted. Before we did not continue because we have resistive load. So the resistive does not store, so it does not release. But the inductive it stores, charges, then it releases. So that's what will happen here. So we will have a negative ripple. This is our next one. Okay, and then this one here. Okay. So now our current is continuous actually. When uh, alpha is 90 degrees, let's see what will happen here. So as we said, this alpha for the first pulse is zero. And this will be 30, and this will be 60, and this will be 90 here. It's shifted. Actually, it's 120 in the previous scale. So we're gonna follow, we're gonna follow the face, we'll stay on the face, we'll stay on the face till we touch 90 degrees, and then we'll go up, okay? my output now okay okay the current will be the same here the current will be continuous again okay the current will be continuous but it will be better actually but one point I want to add if we use the if Inductive is huge, then I out DC will be straight DC. Straight DC. So it will be like this. DC. As what we have uh, discussed before, when inductive is huge, the output, if you're looking for straight DC, just make the inductive huge. So if the inductive is huge, the output will be straight, output DC. Okay? So this one here is I out DC, and this one here is I out DC with inductive. It's very really huge. Okay, uh, this is uh, enough for the for this topic because, as I told you, we don't have this topic in our text book. But I want you to look in your notes, in pages fifty-five to fifty-nine, and those are the main pages that I want you to look at. Okay, fifty-five. This is the page here that explains the resistive load here. Okay, you can look at it. This is in your uh, blackboard, uh, colored your notes and also this one here is um, for the inductive you don't see the current right here but you can see it here okay and this is also a very good one that explains when resistance is greater than the zero and then when the inductive is zero and then when we have inductive what changes and then when inductive start being large and when inductive is being very large so the current is this is the current is straight you see Okay, this is, uh, uh, we're done for this topic. And next we're gonna take the three phase full wave, which is the bridge, three phase full wave control rectifier. That will be next topic. And uh, we're okay for this topic. And see you next.